All right, now we'll be talking about the head and shoulders reversal pattern. This pattern consists in having two shoulders. We have our left shoulder and our right shoulder, and then a head, which is gonna be higher than both of the shoulders, okay? Usually, the shoulders have the same height, but there's always the exception. You can have them one a little larger than the other, but this is never gonna be the same size as the head, okay? You can also have two heads, that sometimes happens. So it, it could be also looked at like as a double top, but sometimes there's actually another another head. So it'll look something like this. Like that, and then there's another one. See? So you can also do like that with two heads. And then you have the neckline, which is gonna be what actually bonds everything together, okay? And then at the break of the neckline, it's where your shore signal will go, what will happen, your cell signal, okay? If it's a top head and shoulders, but if it's an inverse head and shoulders, which will go the other way around, so it look like, like this, And it's actually coming from a downtrend. So a downtrend is coming in. And then what happens when the neck like breaks? You actually get a buy signal. Okay? So it's inverted. We have the top head and shoulders and the inverted head and shoulders. So they both go in different directions. Uh, so here are the chart, how this looks. So you can see right here, this one, it's the shoulders are not really even, okay? Because it's not perfect 100% of the time. But it's very clear that there's a neckline here. See how there's two areas, two lows, and connect with each other? That gives a neckline, nice, nice neckline. You have the uptrend coming in here. Now, this is basically, if you look at it, it's three failed rallies. Okay, so it's, you try to rally once and it failed. You try to rally again and it failed. Then a third time and it failed. So after three failed rallies, what happens? We get to this break right here and that will be our short signal, our sell signal. And how do we know the target, how, what to expect? Now, Target is always going to be the length of the head from the top of the head to the neckline. It's right here. Okay. So you can measure the top of the head all the way to the neckline down here. And then you take the break point and put it right there. See? So this will be our, our target for it. Right here. See how it stopped in this area? That was the target. So that would, you could have um, bought back over there, close your shorts, take, pro take profits. That's what you're looking for. The same on the other way, when it's uh, head, inverse head and shoulders, you're gonna look for the same targets. The length of the head all the way to the neckline. That'll give you your target.